Ooh. Oh, it's so good. Mm. That was a good one. Back to glam. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can. Hey, Bursties. It's your girl, Strash Me. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have just gotten done doing some bomb graphic liner with the new NYX Cosmetics Epic Liner. Now, this video is in partnership with NYX Cosmetics. Just wanted to make that very clear. I know you guys are used to seeing me in vertical format, typically on Instagram or TikTok. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little mini TikTok tutorial on how I create my graphic liner golden hour TikToks using the NYX Cosmetics Epic Eyeliner Pencils. So when I found out these were smudge proof in the video with my son, I was like, how smudge proof are they? Because I don't know if you remember but Zakai was like really trying to get them off and he couldn't oh snap even, try a little harder it doesn't even come in your hand so I looked it up and actually they're 36 hours worth of smudge proofing tin -ness. so I was like shook by that because I'm like first of all do not wear your eyeliner for 36 hours but if you do wear the NYX epic liners and apparently you'll be like good in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I managed to get the golden hour sunlight without going blind now there's a couple of rules to filming in the Sun one of them do not look directly at the Sun My Another piece of advice I want to give to anybody wanting to create golden hour content is you definitely have to plan ahead of time. Reason being is because we all know the sun rises when she wants to, so you can't force the sun to do anything or to be at a certain place whenever you're ready. So make sure that you guys are tracking the sunny days in your week before you're creating the content. Also another thing is you want to know what time the sun hits which window in your house so that you can prepare to film and set up at that time. So for me, like I don't have 360 windows I live in an apartment so I have east facing windows and west facing windows I don't have any south facing windows which is actually where the Sun predominantly is in the day but I do have windows facing this way so when the Sun is up over here and it starts to shine in right around 5 or 6 o'clock at night is like showtime for me baby so on your next sunny day watch the Sun and kind of see like what's your favorite window when does it shine into your room when does it shine into your studio space or whatever and then dark document the time so that you can know for the next sunny day. Ooh, okay, you guys, I am so hyped. So we are in my room. It is golden hour and it is imperative that we do this pretty quickly because the clouds are rolling in. So I have my two liners here. I chose the darker purple in this turquoise color. Now I have a handheld mirror, so I kind of keep it down below the camera. You want to make sure that your face is angled towards the light. You don't have to look directly into the sun. Oh my God! but just making sure that it's casting down on your face is imperative to that golden hour lighting. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that the top of your lens is totally clean. I have the mirror up against my window pane like this. The camera is propped, my phone is in my hand, and I have the liner in this hand. Woo! So we're gonna start with the green. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna apply the liner off camera so that on camera it looks really smooth. So we're gonna just apply a straight line and that's a really good starting point. So you always want your TikToks to look like you're creating them right on that camera. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure I'm facing the light. Okay, so now we have our first shot. Now we're gonna add a little bit more off camera. I'm actually gonna do a straight across line. Like instead of following the roundness of my lid, I'm going to attempt to make a straight line right across. Okay, so now I feel like we're at a pretty good stopping point for step two, which is basically showing the overall shape and then just finishing it off with a couple extra touches on the camera. So we're gonna zoom back in. I always look at it on the TikTok camera frame just to make sure it looks good. Okay, but we definitely have this shot. You also wanna get options. So now with this one, I have like three options to choose from as far as like a swatch, uh, an application technique. These are really cute. And the sun is getting a little bit cloudy, so we're gonna hurry up and do the purple right now. First step shot with the purple. So as you guys can see, I just went over the same lines that I made on camera so that it's just kind of showing the swatch of the color, the macro shot of the product, applying the color, the way that you apply the color, the technique at which you apply the pencil. So there's a couple of things that you're gonna learn from watching this and the way that I'm doing it. All right, so let's do a little bit more. 
We're just gonna do the same things. Get really close. Okay, and you guys, when I'm not sure about a shot, I will do it from several different angles, do it over and over again. The whole goal of this is like options so that you have cute shots to choose from. So now that the sun is kind of poked and hiding behind some clouds, I have a little bit of time before the next break. So what I'm gonna do is finish the other eye and then we're going to do the lash step in golden hour. Okay, but no BS, like no smoke and mirrors, you guys. Look how pigmented this is. They really do go across your eyes so smooth. Okay, okay. The sun's breaking through again, so we're gonna get the purple on and then we'll, I'll be back for lashes. Okay, you guys, so the sun's pretty much gone. These last steps are really easy usually. They just take like a swipe or two. And you just wanna show this one simple step. You're basically just swatching the highlight. Okay, now it's time for lips. I usually only swatch the gloss part because like I just do exactly what you just saw but with lip gloss. So I'm gonna do the liner off camera. This liner is by NYX and it's called Brooklyn Thorn. And then we're just gonna put on a clear gloss. I wonder if I'll actually post this video. So I usually zoom in way close for the lips. Okay, you got a, a good little shot in there with some angles. That's the thing about TikToks too, you guys, is like as long as you have like 0.5 of a second of that good shot and then it goes to crap, as long as you have that 0.5, you good, you got it, you got it. Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, one more step. We have to do the lashes. Making sure that your nails are manicured. I always do this just by zooming in and like kind of flicking the lash away from my face. So. And then you always have to hit them with like that like, you know what I'm saying, just in case. So now we're getting the final shot and this shot is pretty important. So you wanna make sure that you do this like at least four or five times because you really need to choose and splice and dice. So this is typically what I do at the end of a TikTok or the beginning of a TikTok. And it's just that glam kind of voguing moment where you're just like feeling yourself and it's like all your best angles and all that. So this is how I do mine. And then I'll just pick my best angle, like this. And then I zoom into the look, keep a blink or two. And then I always put like a filter over it because you just wanna look unreal. You just wanna look like who the f is that girl? Why is she so bomb, you know? Okay, you guys, I think we got the shot. So really quickly, I'm gonna walk you through how I splice my clips together. So as you guys know, I use the Instagram camera front app to record my TikToks. I save those and then when I And then when I'm done, I watch all of the videos. Basically what we filmed were mini steps or swatches to a tutorial. So basically what you wanna do is go through all of the clips and find the best step of each step. Narrow those clips down to like one to two seconds. If you have a swatch and it goes like ee and it's like one second just to get it across and it's the best one and it has the best light, narrow the whole clip down to just that second and save it. Once you have all of your steps saved, you should have maximum like 20 seconds of footage. The next thing you wanna narrow down is that Vogue moment. These should be no longer than like three seconds. You don't wanna take up too much time on TikTok. You wanna keep your videos right around 15 to 20 seconds. The whole point of a TikTok tutorial or a hyper real Instagram tutorial is that it's quick and it's easy. So you don't want these tutorials to be any longer than 30 seconds. My tutorials now are about 15 to 20 seconds, but 30 seconds is gonna be your max. This is gonna be your goal. Next, you wanna give three to five maximum seconds to your voguing moment. Two seconds in the beginning, just like your best angle, and then three seconds at the end, just like a slow-mo of another one of your favorite angles. The next thing you wanna do is highlight all the clips that you wanna upload to TikTok and then put them in order that makes sense. So the first clip is that voguing kind of like cue angle, and then boom, tutorial starts. First step, second step, step third step, fourth step, etc and then it's gonna end on that Vogue note and then it's done. So make sure when you're watching these all the way through that the steps make sense and then at the end you have a final product. The next thing you wanna do is choose a dope song. I typically have like favorites already saved in my phone of just TikToks that I've watched that I already like the songs. So I encourage that you do that as well. Once you're all done, the tutorial should look something like this.
Yes, I'm staring off into blank space. All right, you guys, we're all done. Huge thank you to NYX Cosmetics for their epic liners. They sent me the whole shade range and this has seriously been like my go-to for my graphic liner looks, you guys. I absolutely love how smooth they are. That's my number one favorite thing. I love how opaque they are. And lastly, I love that they do not transfer. It doesn't even come in your hand. That is just so convenient. I believe the liners are like $8 too. So you can like open your purse, but like a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up to show some love. Comment down below if you want to see more how-to tutorials from a technical standpoint. Make sure you follow all of my socials. I'm Strash Me on every platform except for Twitter, which I just got verified on by the way. I'm Strash Me with two E's on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video and I will see you guys next time. You can only look at this bomb with NYX. Epic eyeliners. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.